I just finished this book, Success is for You, by David R. Hawkins, the author of Power vs. Force and Letting Go. And goddamn, look how much I highlighted on some of these pages. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. So let me share with you something that really caught me off guard. And it's something that I think I'm going to put into practice, even though I know it's going to be really difficult given my temperament. Let me read it to you. First, he says, This is a secret that one discovers through a deep understanding that when we support life, life supports us in return. It is a truism that we can only arrive through observation and experience. The simple practice that leads to awareness and that anyone is interested in becoming truly successful on a daily basis can do is this. In traffic, always let others cut in front of you. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? Within that practice is the hidden secret power of becoming a successful person. As we practice this technique, we'll eventually discover the pleasure of becoming a truly courteous person. What does courteous mean? It merely means to support the life of others and their happiness. We will shift from the short-lived satisfaction of blocking others into the long-term inner shift of awareness that comes from supporting them. What happens as a result of practicing this? At first, it will seem difficult and awkward. I think it's going to be really difficult for me. As time goes on though, it will result in a subtle pleasure. That pleasure is a continuous experiencing of the fact that we are becoming different kinds of people. This leads to the awareness that satisfaction is fleeting and momentary, but pleasure is long-term and permanent. We also end up loving ourselves more. This loving is not narcissism, vanity, or egocentrism. Rather, it is the awareness that we are shifting into alignment with a whole different principle of living life. To let others into traffic in front of us is being gracious. Gracious means that we have more than enough for ourselves and now have some to give to others. Anybody can be rude and step on the accelerator. That takes nothing at all. That's the common person's avenue to failure because they are operating on the level of win-lose. We bring into our lives the very thing we support in the world. If we support win-lose, then we are supporting lose, are we not? If we let others into traffic, we experience ourselves as magnanimous. We notice that others wave to us in thanks. Our lives become one with gratitude and win-win because those are the principles by which we stand and live. Of course, it's not like every person who cuts you off is gonna wave their hand in thanks. Very few of them will probably, if any. At least that's my guess. Although I have let people in and they have waved in thanks when they were trying to cut in and I, I let them in. So it does happen. And he said the next easy practice that has profound repercussions throughout our entire inner nature is feed the wild birds. Yes, it is as simple as that. So I listened to Dr. Hawkins and actually bought a bag of bird food. So it's going to be delivered tomorrow and I'll be spreading it outside every morning. There aren't any pigeons in my area, thank goodness. So it'll be a lot of wild birds other than pigeons like black capped chickadees and blue jays and cardinals. He also said the next practice is to always be growing something in the office, apartment, home or garden. The process of becoming successful is one of becoming sensitive, observant and aware. The reason most people are not successful is because they literally can't see. And he talks about an example where in a business there are so many glaring deficiencies and you ask how could they be so unaware? How could they not know why their business is not doing so well? It's because the evidence is so glar glaringly obvious. The exercises I have described in this chapter allow us to progressively open our eyes so that we can see the answers to many dilemmas that seemed unsolvable before in our lives. We will discover that the answers to all the questions already exist. The solutions to all all the problems the world faces are already in existence and are merely awaiting recognition. And I'll end with the final section of the book. The capacity for success resides within everyone. Any of us can make others feel good about themselves. In so doing, we begin to feel good about ourselves. This begins to rub off and changes our compass in an increasingly positive direction in which success is merely the automatic byproduct of what we ourselves have become. Success is like happiness. We'll find we cannot obtain happiness by striving to be happy. Happiness is the automatic consequence of living in a certain way, being with ourselves in a certain way, and having a certain awareness. One of the biggest secrets of success is that we cannot achieve it by striving for it. Success, like happiness, is the automatic consequence of who we are and what we have become and our inner attitudes. When we have become a certain kind of person, success is so automatic that we haven't the slightest interest in it. It's like the air. We absolutely take it for granted. We don't worry about having enough air, do we? A sufficiency of air is a given. It's a presumption. It's an of course. It is the same thing 
beginning with success, which is why it is for you. Success is for you by David Hawkins. Those exercises really surprise me. Let people cut you off in traffic, feed the birds, and grow some plants at any particular place that you can grow them. I did not expect those kind of exercises from a success book. Completely caught me off guard. But what he says actually makes sense, right? Because when you're blocking someone from cutting you off, you're thinking in a win-lose scenario instead of thinking win-win. So as he said, you're strengthening the win-lose dynamic and lose is part of that. So it makes sense theoretically and I think I'm gonna give it a try even though I know it's gonna be so difficult to let people cut me off in traffic. Uh, let's see how it goes. So it is exactly 10 p.m. right now. I want to make this video as soon as possible. I need to get to bed early to wake up early tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby.